Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, welcome back to another video, and if you're new here, welcome. <sighs> okay, so today we are going to be testing out some waterproof jewellery. So I am going on a holiday very, very soon. Um, so I decided to pick up some jewellery that I can wear in the day, at night, in the shower, in bed, and just not take it off, because I've still got my earphone in. Anyway, because when I'm wearing jewellery, it's just such a faff having to take it out, then go to bed, I was getting in the shower, and then put it back on. It's just annoying. And when I'm on holiday, I'm going to be in and out of the water. I just want some jewellery that I can keep on with my bikini. I can go swimming in it. And I just think it looks really cute with a bikini as well. So, yeah. So, instead of just buying a couple of pieces, I thought it would be a good idea to try out several brands who claim their jewellery is waterproof, um, tarnish-free, sweat-proof, all that kind of stuff, and see if it actually is. So, that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. So, behind me, you can't see anything there. I've got different jewellery from different brands. I've got from five different brands. One of them is this one. Now this, I didn't get this because I wanted a waterproof necklace. I got this because I saw this and I loved it. So this necklace here, I'll do a close up in another clip. This is actually from Milana Studios, which is um, Tara Maynard's brand. And she was wearing this on her holiday. I think it was in Dubai. And I was watching the stories. I was like, oh my God, I need that necklace. Where is that necklace from? It is so nice. Cause I mean, my favourite tree is a palm tree. I am obsessed with palm trees. I love them. I used to have my palm tree picture here. But yeah, I love palm trees. So when I saw that, I was like, I need it. And it turns out it was her brand. So as soon as that launched, I jumped straight on that and got it. And she said that she was wearing it throughout that holiday to test that it was waterproof. It wasn't going to tarnish. She could have it on all the time. And it was fine. So I got the pendant and the chain from Milano Studios. Um, they now do like um, a multicoloured kind of iridescent. I don't really know how to describe it. Really cool palm tree, but I just prefer the gold. Um, so that is the first one. So that is going to be coming on holiday. I'm going to be wearing that in the day. I'm going to be going swimming with it and sweating on it because it's going to be so hot. Um, and yeah, hopefully that will all be okay. So then I thought, well, I'm going to try out four other brands. So I've got jewellery from Nevea. I'll pop it here. I think that's how you say it. That's quite a nice name if it is Nevea. Uh, Nevea jewellery, Grace and Kin, Hay Harper and Zovo jewellery. So I just, I was basically retargeted on Instagram. So I started looking for waterproof jewellery. I've seen a few ads where, you know, the people were putting their hands in the water with jewellery and like, oh look, it's waterproof. I was like, oh, that's a great idea. So I think the first one I saw was actually Nevea. So then I placed an order with Nevea and I picked up nine pieces. <laughs> I got a bit carried away. Um, and then after that, I was getting so many more ads and I thought, why not do a few different brands and try them all out? So that's when I found Hey Harper, which is quite a big brand, uh, Grace and Kin, and then Zovo. Now, Zovo Jewelry is actually on Etsy, but they have an Instagram page. Um, so that was an Etsy brand, so I did order that from Etsy. The other brands have their own website. So all the jewelry that I did mention in today's video, I will link down below. Um, hopefully, if it's all still in stock. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you the pieces that I picked up now. And then after this, the next time you'll see me will be in Greece, in the heat, in the water, wearing the jewellery. And it's going to be amazing. And then afterwards, when I'm back, I'll do a little update and let you know what condition the jewellery's in. What lasted, what didn't. Hopefully it will all last because it all claims to be waterproof. But yeah, we will see. So if you like the idea of this video, if you are interested to see what happens, then please keep watching. Please also give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and let's dive into it. Okay, so the first pieces I'm going to show you are from Nevea. This is their little box. So if you pick seven pieces, you got the jewel box like this. Um, and if you picked, I think it was nine or ten pieces, you got another jewel box. And you basically just save money. I couldn't decide which to get from this brand. Because obviously, originally, I was just going to do one brand. So yeah, I went a little bit crazy. So the first thing that I got then, I got these two little rings. I just thought these were really, really nice. I want to start wearing more rings, but obviously they need to be suitable for the water as well. And these ones just looked really nice. This one's kind of got a little twist in it. This one's got the Roman numerals. I just thought it was really nice. I went for a size 7, so all the sizes are actually in American sizes, uh, which is fine. I have a ring sizer, and it's one of those where it shows you all your different sizes for different countries. Um, and I'm actually between a 6 and a 7, and then a 7 and an 8, so... I just went for a size 7 hoping they'd fit. They're a little bit snug on like the main fingers. I would wear my rings on, so like this one and this one. I can get them on, but they're just a little bit snug. So yeah, I'm not really sure I'm actually going to be able to get any wear out of these on holiday, but I will try. But yeah, I was a little bit, a little bit upset about those, but anyway. 
Then I picked up this ankler. I just thought this was so nice. I love wearing an ankler in summer. I just think it looks really, really pretty with sandals. So this is like, it's like little arrows and it has a little dangly bit that comes down with a little gem on it as well. I just think that looks so cute. So yeah, I picked up an ankler as well. And then I knew I wanted some necklaces because I really want to wear necklaces in the day, but I couldn't decide which ones to pick. So I ended up with four. So the first one is this really, really pretty glowing star thin necklace. So it is a very dainty chain, as you can see. And then it just has this really pretty, it's like, well, it is a star. I thought it was kind of like either a sun or a star. It looked really pretty. So I thought that would be nice for in the daytime. I can layer that. The second one I also got was this little lightning bolt necklace. So it's exactly the same as this one. It's just a different pendant at the bottom. I then picked up this rope necklace. So this is kind of similar to the one that I'm wearing with my palm tree on. Uh, this one just feels a little bit more twisty. Um, but I thought that was just a nice basic one that I can then layer with maybe one of these. And then the final one was a classic Figaro gold chain. I just thought this was so nice. It's just a classic, it'll go with everything and again, perfect for layering. So I'm thinking I can wear like one of these with one of these and I thought that was just a nice little combo. So that was my plan to kind of just get all my jewellery from this one brand until I discovered some more. But as well as that, I also picked up these earrings. Uh, which I'm hoping you'll be able to see on the camera. So this is also from the same brand. So these actually match the Roman numeral ring and it's just the matching earrings. I think they're really, really pretty. So yeah, I've actually been wearing these earrings all day today and they're absolutely fine. They don't feel strange in my ears. You know, sometimes when you get like metal earrings or anything like that, sometimes they just don't really feel right. But these feel really comfortable and yeah, so that's what I planned um, with this brand. And then I thought, right let's get some more so then so the second brand i ordered from was this zovo jewelry so like i said i found these on instagram but it's actually an etsy brand but these look so nice they had so many rings and these were so much more affordable than the nevea brand um everything seems to be half price on their etsy as well at the moment so yeah i got a few rings so um i think i went a size up on these just to make sure they definitely fitted um because i really really want to wear them so I went for this really, really pretty Figaro chain stacking ring. It's just so nice. And this one definitely fits on the fingers that I wear rings on. I then picked up this star engraved band ring and look how cute that is. It's got little stars in it. It looks so, so pretty. And then the final ring was this sun semicircle ring. So I would have loved this in a very small size to go on my little finger, but that was the smallest size they had. They didn't have many small sizes. I think they only went down to like a five. Um, and my little finger is little than that. <laughs> um, the next thing that I picked up was this dainty Figaro chain bracelet. I'm going to try and wear this as an anklet. It looks very very small but I like anklets and I do have very small ankles so I'm thinking I might be able to get away with that. If not I'll wear that as a bracelet but yeah I really like that as well. Just your classic chain. Just really pretty. So those are the four pieces I got from Zova and then they also sent me this bangle which I thought was really cute. I don't usually go for bangles because I have very slender wrists so things like this will fall off um, but it's one of those where you can actually squash it and make it smaller so I'm definitely going to give it a go and see if it actually stays on because it's quite pretty. Something a little bit different as well. So yeah they were all really affordable as well so I was super happy with those. Now the next brand I ordered from was Grace and Kin. Um, so I only got two pieces from this brand and I haven't even opened them yet, so this is going to be a complete first impressions. So I love how it comes packaged in this little envelope. And then inside we get a card that says, thank you for supporting us. Nice little picture on the back, and then we've got the item here in this little bag. So again, beautifully sealed, and that is the item there. So I went for this T-Bar Figaro chain, I just think that's really, really nice. Another classic piece. Um, I can wear again and again and again. This one feels super lightweight. It looks really, really pretty though, so very excited about that one. And then the second piece I got from this brand was actually a pair of earrings. And here they are. So these are 14 karat gold lightning charm huggy hoop earrings. I just thought they were really, really pretty. So in the daytime, usually, you've probably seen in my other videos, I usually wear some little huggies. Um, and I like to keep them in because they're just so easy and comfortable to sleep in. Um, but I just thought these were really nice with the extra little lightning bolt detail. It will also match my necklace from the Nevea jewellery collection. And yeah, I just thought they were really, really pretty. So that's the second piece I got from Grace and Kin. And then the final brand that I ordered from 
was Hey Harper. This is quite a big brand. Uh, it comes in this cute little pink box. And then inside, I got two of these little holographic boxes, which are so pretty. These are perfect as well. If you're going to get quite a few pieces from this brand, you can literally stack them up and you've got like a little jewellery box. Really pretty. So I'm guessing they do bigger ones as well, um, if you order bigger pieces, but I thought they were so nice. So the first piece I'm going to show you is this one. So this is actually a Capricorn necklace. So we get the little pouch here, but the necklace isn't in here. It's actually underneath. So that is the symbol for Capricorn, which is my star sign. And yeah, I just thought it was a little bit different and really cute. So this is the first necklace that I went for. Obviously I can put it in here for travel. It's really, really pretty, I love that. And then in this box here, we've actually got two items. So it comes with two little pouches, different colors. We've got a little care guide as well at the bottom there. So in this first pouch then, we have the Harriet ring. So this one I got in a slightly smaller size because I want this one to go on this finger like that. It's slightly too big, but I can definitely get away with it. And I'm thinking when you're abroad as well and your fingers get a little bit chunkier with the heat, they swell a little bit, don't they? So I thought that is going to be perfect. I really, really like that one. And the second piece I got from this brand was actually another necklace. This is another Figaro chain, but it's slightly different. So just to compare this to the first Figaro chain, the one on the left is from Nivea and it's thicker. This one is from Hay Harper and it's much thinner. So yeah, I just thought it's just something a little bit different. I really like these kind of chains and I think they look really, really pretty. So just in case you're interested in what the jewellery is actually made from. So everything from Nivea is premium stainless steel, which is waterproof, heatproof and sweatproof. They also offer the lifetime warranty and no tarnishing. So that's a big claim. So I'm very excited to see how I get my those. The Zovo jewellery from Etsy, that is also stainless steel, but it's finished with 18 karat gold plated with PVD. So the Hay Harper pieces for this, the Capricorn necklace and the Harriet ring on my finger. Um, this is also stainless steel. This is coated in 14 karat gold colour PVD. And then finally Grace and Kin, which is this necklace and the little earrings. This is 18 karat gold plated PVD and it's stainless steel. So there we have all of my jewellery that I purchased. So I'm going to be trying this out now. I'm going to be taking it to Greece with me. I'm going to be wearing it the entire time I'm there and I'm going to report back and see if all the jewellery lasted and it still is in good a condition as it is right now. So this is one of the pieces, this is Milana Studios. On my wrist I've got a bracelet from Nivea jewellery and um, I've also got a Paul Valentine one on as well. I'll be taking my watch off when I'm going to the beach. But yeah, this is me looking super shiny. Um, so yeah, this is day one. And I've got some bits of the waterproof jewellery on as well. And my Dior chain. And yeah, I've got my same little black sandals on. Got some cute little jewellery pieces. This is this Capricorn one from Hay Harper. Um, and then the tea bar one as well. I'm also still wearing my waterproof jewellery. Um, so I'm going to pop on two chains today. I'm going to wear this star one. And then the second one I'm going to wear is... This one. I'm wearing one of my waterproof necklaces as well, which I am filming a video on at the moment. Um, and it's very nice. Hi guys, I'm now back from my holiday. Um, I've been wearing these jewellery pieces a lot. Um, some of them I've not actually taken off since before I went on holiday. So these bracelets have been on me since I started filming. Also the anklet as well. Um, and I've been changing a lot of the necklaces and wearing a lot of them throughout my holiday. So this jewellery has been completely tested now. It's been in the sea, it's been sunbathing with me uh, when I've been hot and sweaty, it's been in the pool, it has been through a lot. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I mean the pieces that I've worn the most are these two bracelets here. I mean one of these bracelets isn't actually like marketed as like one of the waterproof ones but it's just one that I put on as well because I thought it was cute. So the two on my wrist then, this first one here is the Paul Valentine, I've been digging in there, uh, the Paul Valentine bracelet. And then this next one here is the other bracelet that I popped on before I went. So these have been on since I started filming this video, which was about a week before I actually went on holiday. And yeah, these haven't been off since. So these have been in the shower with me many, many times, uh, in the sea, like I said, in the pool, and honestly, they're still gold. I'm very impressed with these ones. The only place where they're not as gold anymore, let me try and twist them around. 
can't take them off with, with my nails on. The only place where they're not as gold are on the clasps. I don't know if you can see that, Just it's just slightly lost colour on the actual clasp. But other than that, the rest of it looks just as good as when I got it. So, yeah, amazing, love those ones. 10 out of 10. Uh, the next items are these two rings. So these two rings here, I'll pop them on this finger just to show you. So these are the bigger rings, because if you remember, I bought two rings or three rings, uh, which were a little bit small for me, so I did actually get some more. Um, these ones were from the Etsy brand. I'll link all these down below as well so you know exactly where they're from. Um, but yeah, these two, which I absolutely love. These have been on when I've been in the shower, when I've been putting products on my body, when I've been doing my skincare. They've had moisturiser on them, they've had hand cream on them, and they're still perfect. With this one, because it is like a chain, you do get product in the gaps, so it does have moisturiser in it, you have to just wipe it out. But it's not affected it at all, it's still completely gold. Both of them are completely gold. They look absolutely perfect. They've not tarnished at all. They're in like perfect condition. I'm so, so impressed with these ones. And these, I think, were the most affordable out of all of them from the Etsy store. So I'm definitely gonna get some more of these because I absolutely love wearing them. I think they're so nice, really, really comfortable. But those have been on my fingers pretty much all the time. I've taken them off occasionally, but yeah, pretty much all the time as well. So those have been fab. The next thing is my anklet which I'll take off to show you. So like I said, this is a piece that I put on before I went away and it's been on my ankle ever since. So it's the first time I've taken it off and that's still looking pretty old to me. That's not changed at all, not even on the clasp. So there we go. As you can see, this is what it still looks like. Even the clasp, perfect. And this end as well. Still perfectly gold. This little gem at the bottom looks perfect as well. That's in perfect condition. That's fab. And honestly, that has been everywhere. It's been on me ever since. Um, the one thing I'll say about this one is it's not the comfiest when you're wearing shoes. So since being back, obviously, I've been wearing trainers and stuff. Whereas on holiday, I've just been wearing flip-flops or no shoes or whatever. But wearing trainers, um, if it's not in a sock, so if it's like, if I'm wearing like trainer socks and it sits on top of that and it just touches the back of the trainer, this is not comfy at all um it really really digs in um and kind of scratches the back of your ankle so it's not one that i'm probably going to keep on for long whilst i'm in this country um one that i will probably change to is the other one which is in my jewelry box so the one that i'll probably change to now is this one because this one has no sharp edges it's much comfier and that's not going to dig in um i wore this only a couple of times on holiday and i took it off and i just kept this one on instead um, but I mean, that still looks absolutely perfect from only a couple of uses. So I mean, I wouldn't have expected it to change in that time anyway. Um, but yeah, this one, absolutely perfect. So yeah, I might switch that over now actually. The other ring then, the one that does fit me, um, is this one here. So I'll just pop that there to show you. This I was wearing on this finger, so I swapped my rings around. Um, and yeah, this was really, really pretty. And again, I didn't wear it as often as the other ones, but I did wear it quite a lot and it's still in absolutely perfect condition. It looks brand new. So yeah, again, not changed at all. Perfect, love it. Okay, earrings then. Now I started out, even before I went on holiday, I think you've seen these in my like pack with me videos. I was wearing these earrings, these ones. And I really, really like these. I like the size as well. Now I'd usually go for like small earrings like these ones or like bigger earrings, but these are something different for me. Um, but I just thought I'd try them out, obviously, to test out the jewellery. And I actually really like them, so I wore them quite a lot. And I wore them on holiday a lot until I lost one of the butterfly clips. So, yeah. Once that had gone, I didn't have a spare. So I had to stop wearing them because I thought, I'm just going to knock it out of my ear. So I couldn't wear them then. But from the time that I did wear them, I'd say I wore them for a solid 10 days. I think I slept in them a couple of times as well, after a night out when I just got back in bed. Um, and, yeah, still pretty much perfect. The only place where it's lost colour is where it's been in my ear, which earrings tend to do anyway. But if you look at the actual earrings themselves, it looks perfect. If you look on the inside. Can you see that? It looks perfect. It's only changed there where you can see where it's been in my ear. But other than that, 
this looks perfect. So yeah, they're fab, happy with those ones. Uh, the other pair of earrings which that I then switched to was this pair here with the little lightning dangly bits, like the huggies. And these have been in since I'd say halfway through my holiday until right now when I've just taken them out. I've not taken them out the entire time. Um, and these, because they're so small, they're super comfy to sleep in, um, easy to wear, and you don't really notice they're there, but because they've got a little lightning bit, they just, it's just something a little bit extra, isn't it? And they just look really nice. And this is what they look like. So again, these have been in my ears for quite a while now. They've been in the sea, they've been in the pool. I've slept in them loads. They've been in the shower, they've had shampoo and everything on them. And absolutely perfect. So yeah, these are definitely waterproof. Definitely don't tarnish. Now, finally onto necklaces. Um, my necklaces, I'm quite lazy with jewelry to be honest. I quite like to just keep something in, like my earrings, I just keep them in and they're fine. My anklet I keep on, it's fine. Um, but with necklaces, I did try to change them like quite often, so I'd test out quite a few. So you'll see probably in my grease vlog how many times I changed my necklace. I did put different ones every, on every single day or pretty much every day. Um, to try and test them out and the ones that I wore the most were this lightning one then the like sunshine star kind of one um also this t-bar one was really nice I like this one for layering that one this palm tree one and then finally this plain rope one um oh and my Capricorn one as well where's that one gone oh the Capricorn one is in here so those are the ones I mainly wore. Um, in the evenings for going out and stuff, I was just wearing my Dior chain. So obviously that didn't go anywhere near water or anything. That was put away in the safe in the daytime. But in the daytime, I was mixing and matching between these six pieces, including this one. Um, I'd say the only one I didn't really wear was this one, but I think that's actually an anklet. So. so starting with then, the lightning necklace. So this is what the lightning necklace looks like after being worn in water and very very hot weather looks perfect looks fine the chain as well the chain still looks really nice and gold and it doesn't seem to have discolored anywhere that still looks perfect even the clasp no discoloration still perfectly gold so amazing the next one is this sun star one um so starting with the actual pendant this is what it looks like they're still perfectly gold by the looks of it. Got a few fingerprints on there. But yeah, no discoloration or anything. And then the chain as well. Still perfectly gold. And the clasp. Still perfect. Um, next, this rope one. Now this rope one was a different kind of gold to start off with anyway. It was like a bit of a darker gold, but there's still not been any discoloration. It just looks like a darker gold compared to the other pieces. Um, but it doesn't look discoloured, it doesn't look tarnished or anything. There is a tiny bit actually on that hoop at the back, let's see if I can show you. You see it right at the bottom? Got a tiny bit of discoloration just on this bit here. But I mean, I'm not bothered about that bit, that, no one sees that bit. Um, but the actual chain itself looks absolutely fine, so yeah. Um, next, the T-bar one. I wore this one quite a lot because I was wearing this and layering like the star sun ones and the lightning. So yeah, this has been ramming it quite a lot and no tarnishing. Perfect. And looking at the clasp as well, nothing, perfectly gold. So that is really, really nice. I love this one. Uh, I slept in this one quite a lot as well because it was comfy to sleep in. Um, and then I just popped on another necklace for layering the next day. Then the palm tree necklace. Now this one, the pendant is perfect. I'll show you the pendant. No tarnishing at all. Perfect. The chain, however, seems to have gone a lot lighter and it almost looks a little bit silvery in some places. I don't know if you're able to see that on camera. It does look a lot lighter. And you can see like the odd silvery bit. Which is not really what I expected for this one because this one was the most expensive. This together, the chain and the pendant was £105. So when you're spending that much money and it's supposed to be like, you know, it's supposed to not tarnish. 
expect it to not tarnish. It's still absolutely fine, like I still wear it. It's just a lot paler gold now. So yeah, it's a bit disappointing because the chain used to be the same colour as the actual pendant, but now the chain looks a lot lighter. So yeah, it's still nice, but annoying. And then finally, the Capricorn necklace, which is in here. This was definitely a delicate one. So yeah, the chain on this one is much thinner, but starting with the pendant, no tarnishing at all. And from what I can see of the chain, again, perfect condition. Perfect. So there were a couple of pieces I didn't actually wear. These rings, which are just a little bit too small. There was also this chain. I don't think I actually wore this one. Unless I just wore it once. But I didn't wear it enough times to actually test this one. Um, but yeah, other than that, I wore everything else. I tested them out. I made sure they all went in water at some point. Um, and they've obviously been on me when it's been warm and sweaty. Um, for quite a long time as well. So definitely had a good test of the jewellery. Um, and yeah, overall, very, very impressed with it. So yeah, I think from now on, I'm just going to pick these kind of pieces of jewellery because they seem to last and um, they look really really nice, they don't discolour because I've had so many like nice fashion pieces in the past from from actual like fashion websites they look really nice but they go such a funny colour like so quickly so it's just not worth it um, I'd rather just spend that tiny little bit extra Not they're not that expensive either they are quite affordable yeah I'd rather just spend that little bit extra and then they actually last they don't discolour, they look really really nice and yeah the pieces that will just last so there we have it my little waterproof jewellery test. Let me know your thoughts on these pieces and the outcome of them in the comments down below. Uh, let me know if you've picked up any like waterproof jewellery and what your thoughts on it are um, and if there's any other brands that you recommend for waterproof tarnish free jewellery because this is going to be the start of my collection. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you found it interesting and useful if you are thinking of purchasing from these brands. Like I said earlier, I will link all of these pieces in the description box down below with the shop that they're actually from and um, with the name of the item as well if you do want to search them if you like any of these particular pieces. Um, but overall, I would recommend all of these brands. They've all been fab, really, really impressed with them. The shipping wasn't too bad either. Um, the jewellery quality feels amazing, it looks amazing and they're just really, really cute pieces. So yeah, I'd recommend them. So that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video.